All right, your first alert radar getting a bit of a workout here. So let me go ahead and get you updated as we head into 1044 now, 1045 now. And we're looking at some downpours near Chapin. As we look at those areas, a lot of folks are seeing that wet weather. But just be mindful that that wet weather does come at a little bit of a cost. You're seeing some of those showers now in Ballantyne near 76. As you look over towards Winsboro, those communities south of Winsboro, south of 321, that area getting some wet weather and some heavy rain and gusty winds, and it backs over towards the lake. So if you're heading into Lake Montice Monticello, those communities near 215. So I'd say between the lake and Winsboro, getting the strongest shower that we have on the board right now. And again, looking at that other one coming off of Ballantyne, coming off the lake. So there's a downpour there right over Lake Murray. That was moving at a pretty good clip to the northeast. And then keep your eyes on the storms near Greenwood and McCormick heading down towards Edgefield as they begin to grow, they're shifting over into the Midlands. So that means you could probably see some downpours in most Midlands communities before it's all said and done. And we are seeing that being reflected here on our future radar through the 2, 3, and 4 a.m. hours. I'm watching as those showers blossom as they head into the Midlands. So this is going to be interesting for us as we see the off and on downpours through the night. And it looks like they'll be out of here by daybreak, though. So no worries about the rainfall for the morning commute. We get into the day Wednesday and most of the day is actually pretty quiet. It's not until about three to four o'clock. We start to see some of the showers and storms developing. We'll see a lot of them hanging back over towards Manning, Orangeburg and King Street. And then they pretty much blossom everywhere as we get to about seven o'clock by nine o'clock. Still looking at some of those off and on showers. We then move into your Thursday and Thursday is probably going to be our best opportunity to see widespread rain. The clusters of storms will continue for us because they're all they're going to be driven driven by a stationary front that's going to be moving through. So we're inching up those storm chances all the way up to about 70%. And that is for your Thursday and your Friday. That stationary boundary is finally going to start to sag south. And that is what's going to spark off a better chance of showers late in the day Wednesday and then feed again to your Thursday and your Friday forecast time frame. And that's the reason we're putting that up as high as 70%. Once we finally get done with the unsettled weather, we're going to be able to drop those rain chances as drier air begins to filter in. And so we're able to take those rain chances down to about a 20 to 30 percent chance as we get the work week started. And we're at a point where we really could use some rainfall. We are under a drought, but when we look at our overall rain totals for the amount that we've had and comparing it to the normal time, the normal amount, we are in a bit of a surplus. But dry conditions out there will prevail. So watch out for that when you're doing any burning or if you are outside, perhaps with any lit cigarettes or anything like that.